football players earn postseason honors. It's time for Ice Up again, and we have some tips for testers. And next week is Spirit Week. Let's get started. Because we are on, on the, the air. air. I'm Sonia Parsons. And I'm Olivia Carter. As we begin the show today, we want to fill you on on Spirit Week next week leading to sectionals. Monday is Jersey Day, Tuesday is Twin Day, Wednesday is Hawaiian Day, Thursday is Flannery Day, and Friday is Red Devil Spirit Pride Day. So wear your red and white. Next week, RHS will be doing I-STEP testing, and many students have trouble with text anxiety. The I-STEP starts next Tuesday. We know that a lot of students get really nervous about testing and may experience test anxiety. So here are a few tips about how to make testing easier. There's actually brain research about test anxiety and it shows us that how you are feeling about the test can make a difference in how you, well you do on the test. In other words, feeling worried or frustrated about the test can actually make you do worse. One study about math anxiety showed that some of the brain's working memory is occupied by test anxiety, which leaves less of the brain's resources available to actually work on the test problems. Your brain has more potential to work if it's not worrying. There are other studies that show different parts of the brain are activated by people who feel stressed out about the test and those who don't. When faced with a test, the brains of students who don't feel test anxiety activate the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex and the intraparietal sulcus, which is great. These parts of the brain help with mathematical processing. Nice job, brain! But the brains of students that do feel a lot of math anxiety activate the amygdala, which is not as good. The amygdala is the emotion center of the brain and not the best part of brain to use when taking a math test. When you're worried, your brain activates the worrying parts, not the problem solving parts. So having test anxiety doesn't help you on the test. You probably knew that already, but there are a few simple ways to help calm down your brain and lessen the anxiety. The first is writing. Writing down thoughts and feelings beforehand can make you feel less nervous. Researchers think that writing down your test-related worries takes them out of your working memory, which leaves more brain capacity for taking the test. So take a minute or two to jot down the, your, rest, your test worries right before taking the test. The second way to combat test anxiety is to take some deep breaths. Researchers showed that deep breathing before a test for students with test anxiety actually did improve scores. This might seem simple, but deep breathing helps us calm down, and feeling more calm helps the brain work more effectively. Tell your amygdala to relax. One deep breathing technique is known as the four square technique. You take four beat breath in with your nose, hold the breath for four beats, breathe out like you're blowing out a candle for four beats, and then hold for four beats before repeating. Good luck on your test. Do your best. Good luck to all those testing. And just remember to just do your best. If you feel anxious, try some deep breathing to relax. Now, let's take a look at some announcements. A new club at RHS, important info for early college students, and a reminder for seniors. But let's start with the newest club at RHS. Are you interested in working to make a difference at Richmond High School or in your surrounding community? A new club is starting that will help you develop leadership and community building skills. AVP Club will meet after school on Thursdays in R212 from 3.35 to 4.30. Club activities will include discussions, hands-on projects, and brainstorms for how to make our communities better. AV Club is connected with the AVP Service Learning Course but is open to any student.
Seniors, it's time to get your free application for federal student aid, the FAFSA, completed. The next help session is this Sunday at IU East in Tom Raper Hall. There will be experts on hand from 2 to 4 p.m. to help you get the FAFSA completed. The 7th annual Shamrock 5K BPA fundraiser is coming up on March 10th and it promises to be the biggest year yet. Last year, over 170 runners finished the race. Sign up at speedyfeet.com by March 3rd and you'll get the official Shamrock 5K long sleeve t-shirt. Junior and senior early college students remember the Indiana State and Vincennes University College visit is next Thursday, March 1st. Those juniors and seniors who signed up need to be at the Career Center parking lot and ready to leave at 6 a.m. You will return by 6 p.m. that night. Also, any junior or senior early college student who is interested in doing job shadowing at Reed Hospital during spring break needs to see Mr. Ronnie for an application. Students must have a 2.5 GPA to be eligible. Seniors, time is running out to take advantage of honors and awards. The application process runs through next Thursday, March 1st. These are the local scholarships that are available to only Richmond High School students. These scholarships range in an amount from $100 to $54,000. Applications can be picked up and returned during the month of February. Then in early March, there is an interview process to be eligible for the scholarships. Please see Ms. Porter soon to pick up an application. And we wrap up today's announcements with Movie Night. Next Thursday, March 1st, the Red Devil Mentors will be hosting Movie Night at RHS. Come to the third floor lecture hall after school and enjoy the movie Coco and free with free food and drinks. All students are welcome. That's your announcements. I'm Lucas Harrod. In sports today, we want to congratulate Ike Camus for winning regionals and good luck as he competes in the state finals this weekend. We told you last week about J.C. Cornett competing in the National First Tee Golf Tournament in Florida. Well, J.C. and her partner finished third. Great job, J.C. And Alec Thornburg tells us there are some girl basketball players who deserve congratulations as well. It's your boy Big Al. Today I caught up with three wonderful RHS basketball players who just so happen to be named all NCC for women's basketball. Let's go find out how they feel. We're very proud to have three all-conference players. That's a, that's a big deal um, in a 10-team conference to have three of our kids make all-conference. Uh, I think it shows a lot of perseverance and hard work on their part. I think it shows their commitment to culture and chemistry. Uh, you know, they all three really were a big part of what we did in having a turnaround season. So really, really proud of them. And, and hopefully for Kiara, she's got a chance to improve on that next year, maybe be a first-team kid. So it, it's a good honor for them, and it's a good honor for Richmond High School. Um, like... I mean, it's a big thing to be like all NC, second team all NCC and stuff, but it like it's a team sport, so like, we gotta do it together. And hoping to come back next year with more than what we had this year, and want to get Coach P his 100 wins. And that's about it. Hope to do the best next year, my senior year. Uh, I received all NCC second team for basketball. Um, really proud and honored to have that. Uh, I'm glad that I got to spend the season with my girls and that we ended the season we did like we did. I'm very proud of them. I do plan on playing basketball in college, so not really sure yet, but yeah. I'm Braxton Hurley. I made first team all NCC for basketball. Um, I personally think my basketball season went really good this year. And yeah, my future plans are I'm committing to IU Kokomo for next fall. My signing is Wednesday at 5 o'clock if y'all want to come. So yeah. So, as you can tell, ladies are pretty excited and Kiki's excited for next year. We'll see what next season has to bring for the Lady Red Devils. I'm Alec Thornburg. Sports. Remember, tonight is senior night as RHS takes on Fort Wayne Wayne. Be there to show your support for all the RHS winter athletes. Now let's take a quick look at the forecast. The rain sticks around for another day or so, and we could even see some severe thunderstorms on Saturday evening. Things could, should be clear by Sunday, leaving us with a beautiful day to end the weekend. Highs will remain unseasonably warm this weekend and into early next week. And believe it or not, we could have three or four dry days starting with some sunshine on Sunday. That's our show, and as we leave you today, here's a look back to last year's state championship dive by Ike Camus. Good luck to Ike tomorrow as he goes for the repeat. And good luck to the gymnastics team in sectionals tomorrow, as well as the RHS speech team in their sectional. Have a great weekend.